Sponsors of a bill called the Second Chance Act say it would give thousands of people in our state a better chance of finding work, housing, even health care. Democrat Ashton Clemens and Republican John Hardister, both of Greensboro, sponsor the bill. It's one of the few bipartisan efforts underway at Raleigh. Interestingly, a lot of the like Americans for Prosperity, Koch brothers, yeah. and then you have the more progressive, yeah. you know, Justice Center and people that are all kind of on board with this. Conservatives for Criminal Justice Reform is one of the groups actively pushing for the Second Chance Act. Really, it's a jobs bill. It's about redemption. People who have paid their debt to society carrying a criminal record t a decade later prevents them from housing, from finding adequate employment, from supporting their families. The bill allows an individual to petition for expungement of nonviolent misdemeanor convictions after five years of good behavior. Allows a petition to expunge a nonviolent felony after 10 years of good behavior. And automatically expunges criminal charges if the case is dismissed or the person is found not guilty. I think you ask a really good question, which is, why, if you're not found guilty, why are they continuing to stay on your record to begin with? Um, I don't know the answer to that, except that I do know our whole system needs to be modernized. This would ex allow for automated expunction of dismissals and not guilty, which currently stay on your record. And that's a real problem for people that when they're dismissed, they assume it's off the record and they still have a criminal record. Conservatives for criminal justice reform estimate more than two million people in North Carolina have criminal records. The group says expunging criminal records of nonviolent and innocent people leads to jobs, higher tax revenue for the state, and lower costs for prisons. And it just really creates this sort of circular cycle of recidivism if they can't you know, expand opportunities sure. just to protect themselves, provide for themselves. So what does it do for them? It, it, allow, oh, it allows access for, to expunctions for their criminal record, to clear their record. We believe that you should and ought be able to improve your life from there and not continue to be penalized for something where you've already been served your time. We would give you an opposing view to the Second Chance Act if we could find one. The bill passed unanimously in the Senate. It now awaits action in the House. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.